I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Alright, so well, I want me to use the Tripcaster. You're pretty glad to catch someone just now playing and still early on in Horizon Zero Dawn. I love it. I'm enjoying it so far. It's, uh... You could tell it's got a it's got a certain mark of um, of quality just in terms of how well it looks. Coincidentally, I gotten kind of the Red Dead Redemption Two vibe out of it just in terms of the technical prowess side of it. Really late on uh, on playing this one in terms of uh, when it came out. But this has kind of been on my watch list for a while. Alright, do you have a path I can track? Yes, you do. So how loud is my trip caster, I wonder? So can I set up, like... Let's take a cut through the middle. Oh yeah, I've beaten it several times. I promise no spoilers and the scene is so very detailed and it's gorgeous. Yep. I always have to throw the caveat that uh, you know, I, I do mostly play on PC, so I have to throw that in just for, you know, just to stir the pot a little bit. But uh, no, it I can appreciate the, the effort and time that went into this. Is there, um, I don't really consider it a spoiler, but is there a benefit to playing through uh, multiple times? Is there kind of a new game? I'm pretty sure, I, actually, I think I saw it on the main menu. But New Game Plus could just mean you get harder difficulty or other things like that. So, it's kind of curious in that regard. Alright. Let's, um... So it's underside. Okay. Alright, let's let's pop this down. Here. Here. And give me this. Come here, buddy. Oh it should have hopped the player. Well that's not good. to be trifled with. Could have healed as well. So without healing, it's a two hit on very hard difficulty. Seems to be the... I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my... New game plus. If you have the DLC, you get the best weapons in the game from there. New game plus lets you restart with all your gear you had. And the second run of the DLC lets you get the best weapons. Okay. So, benefit is just to get the best gear. Okay. I did get the DLC. I haven't. I don't think I put. I didn't put the code in yet to to unlock it, but uh, I did get the complete edition, uh, physical copy of it. So I'll have to remember to do that. Mostly, uh, lo just love the play style and stuff. So I just play it for fun. Hey, you know, if a game is that good, if a game that is, is that good where it resonates with you to the point of you can play back through it for, you know, for fun, that's that's one hell of a ringing endorsement. 
and that's rare these days and you know everybody just wants to move on to the next the next you know shiny thing and even i fall into that some you know a bit but it's really easy to just uh keep doing that over and over only worries i'll say i was on DC dlc is max out first okay yeah that's not a spoiler appreciated All right, let's try this again. Let's post this up a bit higher. Did I not hit the... Hmm. Now did I do it too high? Yeah, it saw you. Of course it did. Okay, time to run. Oh, no, I wanted the trip caster. my ass so I haven't quite gotten the dodge timing down yet but, uh, since this is like the first like real enemy I've we faced that's expected Now that I've engaged it, they're just gonna keep finding me over and over again. Oh, we're stuck. That's not good. Aha, climbing in the trees. <laughs> Alright, so they all have kind of a tell. Alright, let's get the crit. I didn't want to go for the, the strong hit. I think I'm just about out of heals. Alright, I want to hide. Oh, no. Didn't break line of sight. I hate spoilers, so I wouldn't dare do that. We'll see if you have any questions I can answer without giving anything away. I'll happily answer. Hey, that's that's awesome, and really appreciate it. I wish everyone was like that in terms of uh, viewers. Some people get some sort of sick enjoyment out of doing that for people, and I never understood it. Alright, so we need to plan a bit better and set multiple trip caster points. I think. Before we kick things off. Secondarily. Do I need to okay so I can I can still craft except for my ammo's full yeah so we gotta set up multiple lines of traps um, 
you, you started off on the hardest difficulty? No, there's there's ultra hard. I, I, I usually go with one step down. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I didn't know what to pick. They gave me, uh, they gave me, you know, they give you six difficulty options right out of the gate. And it's like, like, how, how am I supposed to choose? Now I may have overdone it. And if I keep getting my ass kicked, then, uh, we can bump it down since that's an option at any time. But, uh, I just wanted to get a feel for it, you know. I'm not a complete masochist, but uh, I do enjoy, you know, high difficulty in games. All right, so there's one. And if we could place like the next one. Well, I don't know. Didn't get away quickly enough. Oop. Wait, maybe now I can. Come on back through here, buddy. We'd have more. Okay. Alright, so he's got an audio cue. Nice. Please don't jump over it. I don't know if this is going to be enough to finish it. Oh, I guess it was. Alright. Played it smarter and got him. Yeah, you went with story first so I could get what's going on. Done all but Ultra now. Yeah, every game, you know, kind of gives you, you know, Hard is not, you know, a, a single baseline across the board between all games, so kind of where I fell into. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many Braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a Brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. 
follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. Ross doesn't want to hang out. Feels bad. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. Ross really is the you best are. boy. Best dad. Alright, so that was chapter one. Skill point, 1500 XP, and some sort of box of box of rewards, a reward box, whatever the hell that is. Oh, I understand the health gauge now, so the amount of, um, the more green bar you have, the more heals you have. Totally did not pick that up immediately. Check your inventory, you can open them. Okay. We've probably gotten a ton of stuff at this point. Generous reward box. Common. This box must be opened to reveal its contents. A box holding an assortment of items. Twenty-five metal shards. Fifteen blaze. Five metal vessel. Two fast travel pack. It, you can uh, give yourself more self more space for it in your skills. Yeah, that's that was my. Actually, let me look at my skills. I think I did take that additional natural resources, so metal shards are definitely not <laughs> natural by any uh, stretch of the imagination. All right. Um... Gameplay related question. By the end of the game, will I have filled up all the trees, or do, am I going to have to make some hard decisions? Or is that kind of a... <clears throat> if I hit max level, it means I've filled all this stuff. Because there's some planning decisions going on here. You'll fill them out? Okay. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. Personally, um, not a fan of... Not a fan of where they kind of shove you into one build. I much prefer when you can just be good at everything by the end of the game, because it's... You, you definitely get that feeling that you're powerful and, you know, everything that you've been doing is, you know, paid off in the end. Um, I didn't, I never got that feeling when I played through, like, Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, yeah, you, sure, you can increase your inventory, you can increase your, your health level and all that, but, uh, you know, by the end of the game, it doesn't matter. Or at least I didn't feel that way, so I just stopped...
my favorite part of the inventory mechanic was what it tells you uh, if something's only used to sell. Yep, I uh, I did notice that and uh, commented on that a little bit earlier. Uh, God of War did that as well. It's just very explicit, you know. It's not immersion breaking or anything like that. It's not, you know, it's not going to screw you if, um, <laughs> if you sell it. I for sure it makes me not want to play some games. Yeah. For, for an open game like this, sure. Um, now there are are some games <laughs> nope I'm not switching to Call of Duty um, there are some games that you know make a living off that looking at you know Dark Souls prime example you know makes its living off of not telling you anything But hardly an open world game. I feel like every time there's a pack of machines, I'm just going to get distracted. But it is somewhat enjoyable just to stealth all of them. Oh, you're... Hardly. Okay, free resources. I became self aware. So, you've done any side quests yet? Uh, no, no side quests so far. Yeah. Just. I mean, I guess you could play it off that, you know, they're of primitive intelligence. So I can just walk up and do this. <laughs> I guess I have to go find the side quest first. <laughs> Immobilized. Um. Well, I'm assuming that's a side quest. Put a marker on that. Watcher, so we won't tell anyone else. Thankfully, they aren't uh, aren't boring. All world building was pretty neat and good XP. Sweet. I'm done with that. As long as I don't get a bunch of fetch quests over and over again, I'm good. Programmed with Android. Yes. When the Linux kernel rises up and overcomes everything else. Felt the snow coming. Say it looks way too nice to snow. All right, any other materials I've left lying around? It looks like I missed one watcher. Uh oh. Totally wasn't killing your friends. Oop. No good without the right end. Wait, I gotta. All 
Probably not worth it. Tracking combat in history. Come on. This is totally a waste, and I should probably stop using flame arrows. <laughs> oh, he ran into a whole other pack? That's fine. Oh, he just missed. Damn. Okay. Okay, I did not realize that they did that. At least they telegraph it a bit. Right in the eye. As well grab the campfire while we're here. <laughs> I was gonna say a thing about the arrows, but I was grinning erasure. I, I did that too until I learned the different damage and stats. Not entirely sure what you mean. You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Oh, man, because... Yeah, that makes way more sense. <laughs> All right, so we need to track this quest. And when we go all the way back to Rost, we can turn this one in. 